Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you the difference between active planetary and passive planetary. So here we have two satellite 480 generation 4 machines. Uh, this one here is model 1 and this one's model 2. So the difference is this one is passive planetary, this one is active. So let's have a look at the passive planetary machine. So the passive planetary system is the most popular because of its simplicity and robustness. So you find this system in most hire shops and a lot of contractors will have this as well. So let's have a look at the system. We have, as you can see, an insert, the disc, which is a consumable item of course, and we have the plug sitting up in the machine. This can be removed so you can fit turbo plugs to the machine. So let's have a look at how to put, put it together. We have an insert, put that into the disc, and then put the disc into the plug. So it's a very, very simple system. So let's have a look at how it works. So we have a main tooling disc underneath the machine and that spins around at about 380 RPM. And then we have three satellite discs. These are free to move in whichever direction they choose. This keeps the wear on the disc very even. The system is able to produce a very, very flat floor. So that's the satellite 480 passive planetary system. Now let's move to the active planetary system. So in previous versions of the active planetary, we had a system where the satellite discs were held on to the active plug with a rubber ring. We now have upgraded this to the magnetic system. Um, so we have an insert similar to the other design, but this one has six pins on it. And then we have the satellite disc, of course, with six holes in it. That sits in there. Very simple and easy to fit. And then we have the active planetary plug. This plug is driven by a drive tire at the top running against a central drive hub. This drives the, the satellite disc, as you can see, around in the same direction as the tooling disc. So let's have a look at the action that that produces. We have the main tooling disc running at 270 RPM and the active planetary disc running about two times that speed. So you can see it's a much more aggressive system. Um, it can produce better results when polishing particularly. The actual production rates are very similar when it comes to concrete preparation. However, in polishing it can have some advantage in speed and the effectiveness of the results. So thanks for watching and hope this helps you understand the difference between passive planetary and active planetary.